Uh, John Weber here in the Low Country. Today I'm at Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head with Dolores Cornelli, who's kind enough to tell us about uh, the warranty program here. Uh, Dolores lives in Latitude Margaritaville and she's going to tell you all about that and the warranty program and Christina Rickies on my team is going to chat with Dolores about uh, this entire process and and how it's done and if you're interested in that which you probably will be you may want to keep watching and subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll uh, get to it and Christina will be with you in a second So Dolores, you were my very first client in Latitude Margaritaville. I know, yeah. it seems like so long ago. I mean, you were the person that I, you know, actually learned as much about Latitude Margaritaville as we went through the entire process. Mm -hmm. So here we are, we're in your lovely Camellia, which is a cottage. And um, before we go into your home, why don't you tell everybody where you're from and how you decided on the John Weber team and how did we get to this point? Okay, um, I'm originally from Long Island, the East End, and I specifically say the East End because it's quite a big island, um, a very small community, beach community, so always have the interest of always being close to the water. And of course, with COVID, working from home, and my parents had passed, so it was like, okay, now it's time for me. So made the decision that I wanted to check out this South Carolina area, specifically the Low Country Hilton Head area, and saw John Weber's videos online and was just like, wow, this is really something that I would be interested in checking out. So called John Weber's office and of course they sent me uh, your contact information and we set up that appointment and then you took me around and really gave me a good indication as to what I was interested in. So Dolores purchased uh, a little bit before there was the infamous list so her process went a little oh, yes. quicker <laughs> but um, also through the whole process you and I have become friends. Absolutely. Uh, we've done some activities together. We've actually even joined the same church together. Together. Yes. So as but you know, we could talk about the amenities and how wonderful it is to live here, but I think let's just talk a little bit about your house. Okay. Now that you closed, um, there's a warranty. Mm -hmm. It's called the MasterCare warranty. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how once you closed, you are assigned a MasterCare rep. It usually happens 30 days after you close. They go through the house, you do a punch list, and then how did the process go from there? Okay, um, so again, I came down here um, before my house was being built so that I would be a part of the process. Worked with the, you know, the building soup at that time, so I had a good indication of things that were going on. Never built a home, so I really wanted to have an understanding. So when I was switched over to the master care supervisor, um, had a pretty, pretty good understanding of what was challenges here and what I needed. Um, I, my profession is supply chain, so I certainly understand all the challenges in that process, and that helped a lot. Um, working with uh, my master care person, um, again, my profession, I had a, a spreadsheet mm -hmm. and kept great track of things, which helped him as well, because I could send that over to him and give him indications as to what was needed. Um, one of the things that benefited us was that, you know, they have, you know, significant amount of homes that they're watching and taking care of. So I offered that whenever there was something that needed to be done, to give me the contact information, I'd set up the appointments and that worked out much better for us and that helped him. And I have to say six months in at our six month review, we're pretty much, there's not anything specific on my punch list that's outstanding. So specifically you had generated a list after you moved in, was it an extensive list? Oh, what, tell, tell a little bit of maybe a couple of the items that would have been an example that were on your list. Right. So, you know, it was more of like a uh, different painting uh, that wasn't done properly or maybe a, a flooring issue. Um, I had an issue with my master bath with uh, a noise or what have you. So they were remedy, remedying that. Um, just little small things. I didn't have anything significant. Mm -hmm. Everything was more cosmetic than it was 
um, detrimental to the home and how it was built. So you think all in all they were responsive? So you generated the list, they generated the phone call, they put it in the system, made the phone calls to the contractors, and then you said you stayed on top of that as far as contacting contractors and getting them in. Right, because it really helped, you know, especially when you're making an appointment. If somebody's making that appointment and telling you, okay, you have to be there at nine o'clock, there's somebody's going to be there at nine o'clock and you might have something going on, right? That's a challenge. Mm -hmm. But if you're making that appointment, you're like, oh gosh, all right, I'll make that nine o'clock appointment and I'll cancel this to do that. That benefited me because I had that flexibility. Like anything, if you stay flexible, mm -hmm. it, it makes the process go a little bit smoother. That's, that's what I found. So we know with Minto and MasterCare, there's three visits that are assigned once you close. So you have the 30-day visit once you're handed off from the superintendent to the MasterCare. Then there's the six-month, and the six-month, you said you already had the six-month. You're going into what, your eighth or ninth month now? I'm already nine months, Chris. Oh, I can't believe it's it. It's gone so months. quickly. Yeah. So then you're not to the year end yet. No. So you still have one more opportunity to generate this little things that might be still left. Mm -hmm. And then in the second year, you still have the communication with your master care rep. Um, you won't be as extensively involved as you were with the first year, but you still have the ability to be in contact with them. So as far as myself, I'm on my second, to an the end of my second anniversary. In fact, today is two years to the day that I am officially finished with Master Care because today is my second anniversary. So after the second anniversary then, you, we go to 210, so the warranty doesn't end there. You know, 210 is a warranty, it's an outside warranty company, and that takes care of your foundation, and that takes care of any of maybe, you know, if you have some construction issues and all, but it doesn't go into the cosmetics of the whole thing. But it's nice to know that you still have that warranty in place. So um, Minto, from the process of the sales agents to your superintendent to your master care, is very survey driven. So you were given surveys throughout the process of building your home. So you did receive surveys during I, the master? Oh yes, I definitely received surveys and I, I did fill them out with, you know, very honest opinions. I mean, my situation in my master bath, actually we had the the um, manufacturer here several times to remedy what that situation was and what that outcome was. And in the end, it is it is now on their books as far as something that I'm concerned at and something that Minto was concerned at, but there is no other resolution other than we know that this is what has happened. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I have to say Jason as the man, you know, the manager of my building soup, Jace, they were all very responsive to me in that respect. Did it happen as fast as I would like it to have happened? No, but you know, it, it, time time is it's been resolved. You know, and going best. going to that point, being at the end of my second year, and now my master care programs expired. Um, I had my rep come to my house. I generated a list. I know he's they're not coming to have everything completed by the end of my second year, but I had them initial off and I said to them, I hope my items are in the system and even if it's past the point right. that they'll be addressed. I mean, there is an astronomical amount of homes that have been completed and, you know, these gentlemen can only stretch themselves so much. Right, and I would imagine in the next year and a half, so, some things may change and I might have to have, you know, master care back here to re remedy something. But I know that I have that. So it gives me a lot of comfort knowing that. And, um, you know, I've been very impressed so far with their response to me when I have that issue. And it's also how you handled him. You're, mm -hmm. you're cordial to him, you know. Well, like anything, you know, you know, Nobody wants to fail at anything. They want to be successful, and it's important to be kind to each other both ways. And you know, there's frustrations that get involved, but it's not. It's going to get the better better of you in the end. So it just works better to mm -hmm. be a little bit gentler sometimes. And it you might have to be gentler and a little bit gentler, and then a little bit harder. But eventually, well, it'll everybody get is is wanting to really make you happy. So you're at a cottage. You pay a little extra on your HOA. Mm -hmm. um, um, the cottages and the villas on their, uh, we call it the Property Owners Association, um, will take care of your siding and your roof as far as replacement. So it'll be if your siding needs to be painted or your roof needs to be replaced, there is money going into a reserve fund for that. If a tornado comes, I mean not a tornado, a hurricane comes through or a tropical storm and say there's damage to your siding, 
that on your insurance, that's your own, right? Correct. Correct. How that yeah. works. Yes. So that's comfort to know that, if, you know, if you're in one of the villages or cottages, you don't have to re worry about the replacement of the roof or the painting of the siding. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I chose the cottages as well. I mean, I had a, a, I had a, a home up in New York, a single family home. It was all my responsibility, including the, you know, the irrigation, the planting and all that. And it's still, like, it's really a nice treat to know that it's not my worry to take care of it, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that additional expense over and above what I've already been deemed in the HOA fees. So is there anything else you'd like to interject? Um, I think that we covered it all. all. Well, yeah. since we covered it all, why don't we just go to the bar and chill and have some lunch? That sounds fabulous.